Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's idea, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate a new feature that TradingView has recently rolled out that allows you to choose different time frames when utilizing the market replay function. So let's first go ahead and show you how to activate market replay. It's very easy. On the top of your chart, you wanna click the replay button here, and then you'll see a replay panel populate at the very bottom. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select where you wanna start market replay from. So there's multiple options. You can do a specific bar, a random bar, or you can select a specific date and time. So let's go ahead and choose a specific date and time by selecting date. We're gonna go ahead and choose, let's say Friday the 14th, and we'll start it from six in the morning. All right, so again, it's all personal preference of where you wanna start replay from. You can choose either one of those three options that I just demonstrated. Once done, hit select, and then what's gonna happen is the chart will roll back to the specific time and date that you selected for market replay, and now the next step is playing the market replay. So you have your control panel here, which allows you to basically play it, you can pause it, you can forward it, you can choose a replay speed, and also to the right of it, you'll see replay interval. So this is the new feature that is now available with market replay where you weren't able to do this before. So let's go ahead and hit the play button, and let's just speed it up just a tad bit so you can actually see the market replay working. As you can see there on the left side, and right now we're currently looking at a one minute time frame, as you can see here, one minute chart. All right, now one thing I wanna point out that's important to understand is when you use the replay interval function, there are two ways of using it. You can select same as chart. What that does is basically synchronize your chart to reflect whatever time frame that you have on the chart itself. So right now we have a one minute chart. You can see here it shows one minute. Watch what happens when I change this to let's say a three minute chart. You'll notice now that the replay interval is in sync and automatically changed to three minutes. And also when you click on it, because we're using a three minute time frame now, it'll also show you the available options, uh, available time frames that are available on trading view between one and three. So in this case, one and three. All right, so now if I change this to let's say five minutes, notice now it's in sync. You can see the replay interval is now five minutes and now notice it's one in five minutes. So here's an option if I just choose five minutes, I can now change the time frame here to one minute. This is a one minute chart, but it's looking at, oh, better yet, still, still in sync. Oh, that's a bad example because if we're choosing one minute, that is the minimum time frame, so it can only be a one minute. So let me just choose a different example. Let's just go with, let's say, a 15 minute chart. All right, so now you can see the replay interval is based on a minute, but the chart interval is at 15 minutes. So again, it's all preference. If you want it to be same as the chart, always synchronize. Watch what happens when I hit same as chart. Now your replay is synced. You can see it's 15 minute on the replay interval and 15 minute on the actual chart. If I go back to one minute, notice now it's in sync as well, All right? And this is how you access the new replay interval using the TradingView platform. 